Her er originale foto Maradi, han har taget fra bogen. Og der kommer så den der strøm ned i jorden. What is meditation? Not concentrated on one, not at all. It is written there. Dhyanam yatra nirvishayam manaha. Where the mind ceases to have any object in it. When it is absolutely empty. When it is absolute void. That is called the meditation. Because the mind is the main culprit who comes in between God and you. So with the result, the mind gets an idea that I am a distinct person apart from you. The bulbs are different. There are four bulbs in this room. The electricity is one. Mm. So that consciousness of the electricity is one. And one could be a zero watt bulb, the other one a thousand watt bulb. Mm. But it is the same electricity with the same fullness, it is there. Yeah. The Lord with his fullest potency is in everybody, mm. whether he is a villager, or whether he is the most sophisticated person, mm. he is there. Japam has got several effects. Number one, in the Sanskrit alphabet, you don't call it alphabet, we call it akshara. You know why? The word alphabet in English came from alpha, beta of the Greeks, because first letter was alpha. But here we call it akshara because Shara means that which will get destroyed. Please sit down. Uh, oh, you see, what do you do? You put them down, uh, see, go over by chai, go over by chai, go over by chai. We have got 50 letters. The first letter is not A, it is A. Uh. The pronunciation is A. Uh. So when you pronounce as A, uh, a particular vibration comes out, it, it represents an energy. 50 letters contain 50 types of energy which run the entire cosmic world. The, the entire cosmic force is contained within these 50 types of powers, which the energies which emanate from each. Akshara means that which cannot be destroyed, according to the third law of thermodynamics in physics. Energy can never be created, energy cannot be destroyed, the total energy of the world is a constant. You can only convert the mechanical energy into the electrical, electrical the sound, sound into the light, but there is only one. So in the same way, the one has divided itself into the 50 types of energies. So these, jap these names have been built up, those japa, those mantras have been built up by scientists who analyzed and each mantra is meant for a particular type of vasana. When you go to the doctor, even though four patients will come with the same type of fever, he may give one ciproflexation, the other one you will give not flexation. To the third one you say, no, you just will take a paracetamol tablet, it will do. To the fourth one you will say, don't worry, have a nice sleep, tomorrow morning you will be okay. Mm. So four types of courses, depending on his constitution. Similarly, we have got a spiritual constitution inherited by our conditioning. Somebody is very angry at all times, flying into tempers, and another chap, is full of passion and lust. <coughs> so you require that particular tablet which would attack that particular malady of yours. So that is how these things are going. For instance, clean is meant for Krishna. It is one of the bijakshara, we call it. It is a, one of the portions of the mantras. The combination of ka, la, yim, there are three akshars there. They produce such an effect, they can take away all passions. Not only passions, all desires finally for anything whatsoever in the world. It is called Kamabija, the seed of desire. That is the seed which will destroy the desire. Mm -hmm. And it has got a twofold effect. Initially, it will fulfill so much, and by fulfilling, you will get into so much troubles and calamities, you will say, I don't want any more desires to be fulfilled, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that is how it uh, takes you. So, these f mantras have got various types of vibrations which come out from each. Say Ram. Ra is called the fire bija, fire seed. You pronounce any other letter, ka, ma, nothing happens. R, r, there is friction. Friction means heat. So it is called the fire. Okay. This fire is a subtle fire. 
it will destroy the vasanas. When you purchase a land here for building a house, there are so many shrubs and weeds and uh, tree stumps like. So you bring a demolition square, it destroys them all. Then you bring the construction square, rise the demolition square, which destroys, which is fire. <laughs> then mice, amrita, ambrosia, nectar, so it will rejuvenate, it will rebuild. Mm. So like that, the japa has got that one effect of it. Then the other effect is, it's a long story. <laughs> 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 the other effect is because he has raised the question. Our body consists of five basic elements. Earth, uh, water, uh, fire, uh, air, and lastly space. All these three elements are combined by which we have all been made. The entire world has been made out of this. We call the five basic elements, Panchabhuta. They are known as. Now, their percentage is not the same. Somebody has got more of earth and less of air. Somebody has got more of watery and less of uh, the air. I like that. Supposing somebody has got a lot of earthy capacity inside, then what happens is earth is static. You will become lazy, full of lassitude, won't like to do anything, postpone things. So that is called tamaguna. Supposing you are fire, air, or water, they all move. You know, there. Oh. That is, he was feeling drowsy when he said, mm. being all the age he says, <laughs> nothing happens, nothing is destroyed. <laughs> so, this fire, air, etc., they are all moving here and there. So, you would like to do this, construct temples, construct an ashram, build 200 rooms, 300 rooms, put some air conditioners, advertise everywhere. <laughs> you would be dynamic. <laughs> that is Rachoguna. And in dynamism, whoever upsets you get angry, you would even like to kill them. So the Rajoguna consists of also desires and uh, anger. All these things follow that. They are all part of Rajoguna. So we don't want either of them. Only one is left, which is space. Increase that empty space in you. Let the percentage grow more. And that space represents Satvaguna. That is the quality of harmony, light, and where, and space is infinite. Space has got no color, nothing, absolute. So, we will have to increase it. How to increase that space? Each one has got one attribute. You increase that attribute, this will increase. Earth's attribute is called fragrance or gandha, smell. Smell is the attribute of earth. Taste is the attribute of water. If your mouth is absolutely dry, 100%, you can't distinguish any taste. So if you increase the taste, more of tasty things, the water content will increase. So, space is connected with sound. So put a particular sound specially, which can increase the space inside you. And these mantras are like, so these mantras need not be chanted out. You even think of it, then it is so subtle. The vibration which comes, it goes inside you. You are drowned in it. It increases the space element in you. So that the field is made ready for the descending of the ultimate in you. The Sattva is increased. Like it. You see the various things. Thirdly, constant remembrance. Because if you say this japa is of Krishna, so whenever you tell the japa, you think of Krishna, Krishna, oh, it is for the absolute, it is for that consciousness, that ultimate consciousness. So the moment you tell oh, you think of peace, you think of the ultimate consciousness, so suddenly your consciousness, so side, one day it will catch that supreme consciousness. Mm -hmm. So it has got several sided effects, these japas. And ultimately, According to our scripture, there are three stages in Jampa. You go on doing it for a number of days. A day will come soon enough, within three years perhaps, or two years, when you will be writing letters. The chanting will be going on here. You can hear it. 
as a second stage. You need not chant, the chanting goes on. Then ultimately, this will take another four or five years like. Then when you are doing it, and you are concentrating on it often, the day comes when you sit for japa, you start, Om oh, Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva, something you just start. And uh, within a few minutes, your body sense, your awareness of the body goes. The japa stops and you are only consciousness, there is no mind. You reach that state of no mind. The black box called the mind, which contains a record of the aircraft, is broken to pieces. Wow. Wow. Nobody can catch you. The Maya can't catch you. The world can't catch you. One day in the lecture I was present, he was telling, I have got three ace disciples. Number one is Gyanananda, who is on the Gyana line. Number two is Madhavananda, who is on the Bhakti line. Mm. The third one is Swami Chidananda, who is always on the airlines. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> he was traveling then. Yes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs>